You have no doubt heard your stomach rumble when you get hungry. Well, now imagine if you could hear the sounds of all your organs, heart, lungs, even your eyes. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez introduces us to a woman with this real medical condition. Dr. Max? That's right, Christina Maurice. You know, we all hear or more often feel some of our body functions. The creaky knee or shoulder joint, the heart thumping when we're excited, and the gurgling stomach, of course. One woman heard all this and almost everything else her body was doing 24-7. Fixing an afternoon snack can be excruciating for Rachel Pine. Not only can she hear herself chewing and swallowing food, but also her body digesting it. She's actually heard her eyes move as they scan a magazine. The noises never stop. I can hear my heart beating and it's like thump, thump, and my whole ear goes out. It feels like my whole ear is beating with my heart. Rachel suffers from superior semicircular canal dehiscence, or SSCD. The bone between her inner ears and brain developed tiny holes that caused huge problems. When you start to hear noises that you shouldn't all the time, it gets to be very distracting to the point where you can't concentrate, you can't sleep, you can't function. Rachel also began losing her balance and suffering debilitating dizzy spells. She saw nine doctors with no answers. Then she learned the only cure was opening her skull to plug the holes in her inner ears. In the past, that surgery meant big scars and long recoveries. Hello. Hi. So Rachel traveled from her home in Indiana to Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, where doctors have pioneered a new approach that results in a shorter surgery, smaller scar, and faster recovery. What we do now is we make we do the whole surgery in an opening the size of a dime. Doctors at UCLA first map the brain and skull to plan a safe route, then use GPS-like technology to pinpoint the holes and seal them with filler. It's like a heat-seeking missile right for the itty-bitty hole that's between the ear and the brain. And so that lets us find the needle in the haystack. And give patients immediate relief. When I woke up, I just thought, oh my gosh, it's gone. And doctors at UCLA are seeing up to 10 cases a month of this SSCD. No one's sure what causes it, but it is still pretty rare, affecting only about two people in a million. Anyone can develop the condition, though it's most common in middle-aged adults. And I just can't imagine what it no. must be like hearing your eyes. Here, it's like constant move. sound in your ear, That's right? Really I mean, it, you yeah. crazy. It's hard enough to concentrate in silence. <laughs> <laughs> we all have that problem, yes. right? Thank, Thank you.